It's kind of like if you were to take Barbie Extra and Ever After High and mash them together, that's how you get Barbie Dream Besties. So I'm definitely obsessed. What's up, Seahorse Army? Welcome back. I am very excited for today, this week's videos, really. Um, I'm guessing this is Barbie Dream Bestie Week because uh, it started off with a lunch break doll hunt last from from last week um, you saw that earlier this week that I was looking for the Barbie dream besties and then later on I did a doll hunting video and I found them immediately <laughs> and if you saw those videos you know that I got all four of the Barbie dream besties so um, I'm, I'm really excited now I'm gonna start with Barbie Malibu uh, just because you know we got to start with the classic um, also because she was on top of the pile so I just grabbed her um, so she she was the, the last one that I put down, so she's the first one I pick up. Anyway, so yeah, I guess we're starting with Malibu today. I'm in a very pink, pink mood, so I'm very happy about this. Um, yeah, I am really excited to get into these, so let's get started. So hi, welcome back. Um, I know that um, several other people have already gotten these and have already re reviewed these. Um, it's kind of funny in the YouTube space when it comes to doll YouTubing and stuff like that, there's like a race to get the newest dolls up on your channel uh, to try and get people to see it and everything. Um, and honestly, for me, it's like I don't, I don't pay too much attention to that, which is why a lot of my reviews seem to be like many weeks or months late sometimes. Um, but in this case, it was I was just too excited about these. More like I wanted to get them out of the box so I can play with them. <laughs> but I have a rule for myself. When I get new dolls, I don't just unbox them. I unbox them when I'm reviewing them so that way you can enjoy them as well. So a lot of times I have so many dolls that I want to unbox and I haven't been able to enjoy just because I haven't made a video for it yet. Um, but I could not wait for the Barbie Dream Besties. When I first saw the prototype images for these, and um, well, when I first found out about them, I was like, oh, let's see what's gonna happen, because I heard that this was supposed to be replacing Barbie Extra. Um, and when I first saw the prototype images, I was so excited. I, I already knew I liked them from the get-go. Well, okay, that's kind of an exaggeration. When I first saw them, I'm like, ooh, they look interesting because it was blurry pictures. <laughs> um, and I think the prototypes looked a little bit different than the final product that we got. But um, the more I saw them, the more and more excited I got because to me, they very much resemble Ever After High. I know I'm not the first person to make that comparison, but before I saw anybody else make that comparison, I saw it right away, right? Like they look like ever after high and i do have some ever after high dolls that i think look like the barbie dream besties so i will be doing a little bit of a comparison obviously apple white for barbie malibu this i'm going to be doing a side by side and showing you like talking about that a little bit later on for now i just want to talk about barbie dream bestie by the way here is the back of the box so you can see the beautiful artwork for each of the characters now i don't know too much about the line other than the most general stuff that has been said floating around the internet um, that this is supposed to be kind of like a spiritual successor to the Barbie Extra line. Um, Barbie Extra kind of evolved when they started doing the Barbie Extra minis and then the mini minis. And the Barbie minis and the mini minis actually resembled this aesthetic. They had the smaller bodies with the larger heads, which everybody knows is, you know, there, there's no hiding the fact that this is a way to kind of compete or keep up with MGA with all of their stylistic dolls between Bratz, Rainbow High, OMG, you know, all of the doll lines that they are really successful with are the ones that have really stylized proportions, um, the, you know, larger heads, smaller bodies, bigger feet, or what, you know, like that those kind of proportions uh, seem to resonate with kids. Uh, they look more cartoony. Um, so I think uh, Barbie is finally catching on and not that I, I don't, 
did Barbie do this? Well, they did my scene in the past, which by the way, we are getting my scene back and I am really excited about that. Um, I mean, I love Bratz, but I think I've always liked my scene more. I have more Bratz because they were available to me and I was able to get them easier and not as expensive. With my scene, I'd have to get them secondhand and they're really expensive and it's a whole thing. Anyway, um, I love Barbie my scene. I just like the way that they look and I like their aesthetic more than Bratz personally. Um, so I'm really excited about that. This is actually Barbie and um, you know they're kind of giving us something that is kind of resembling that stylized you know however you want to consider it you know the the cartoony proportions and everything so um, I'm really excited for it and of course like I said um, they do remind me of Ever After High and if you've been watching my channel for a while you know Ever After High is my number one favorite doll line I have almost every single Ever After High doll there's only a few that I'm missing to have a complete collection and one that I need to replace because unfortunately she broke and it's not in a way that I'm able to fix. Um, but other than that, <laughs> I love Ever After High so much. Um, and so when I saw this and saw the similarities um, in their face, I, I knew I was going to like this line. Um, and I am pleasantly surprised seeing, I'm going to start opening this by the way. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised with what I'm seeing now that I have a chance to see the dolls in person and have them in hand. Um, I'm, I'm definitely excited about that. Anyway, okay, so I've already spent an, a lot of time talking about this and I just wanted this to be a quick review. So I'm going to go ahead and actually just get her out of the box really quick so that way we can continue. I'll show you more details without the glare from the plastic and I'll also show you like all her accessories and stuff like that. So let me get her out of the box. I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I've got her out of the box. So gorgeous. Okay, hold on. Um, I want to show you the accessories. I always forget if I don't. So um, to start off, she has a little Barbie hair dryer with the little bracket here so that way she can hold it. She also has a little clutch purse. Um, this is a similar style that we've seen in the past. I think there was a Barbie Extra Fancy doll, I think maybe that had um, a similar one, um, but it, it kind of looked like a little Barbie box. Uh, or was it just a bar uh, Barbie Extra? I don't know if it was Barbie Extra or Barbie Extra Fancy. I don't know. Anyway, um, but yeah, so this is a remold. We've gotten this before. Um, I'm not mad at it, though. This one is in glitter, and it has the retro uh, Barbie or the vintage Barbie logo on it, which I love that. Um, she has a phone, so there's like a little cell phone here and she also came with this and I was like oh why does she come she also comes with a like a retro phone until I realized it is a case for her phone so you can actually put this in here hold on you got to put it the right way because there's a a little molded camera on the back so and there's a little hole so you got to make sure to line that up so the camera can see out and take your picture but anyway so yeah so it is actually a phone case for her her smartphone that looks like a retro phone. I love this. This is so cute. Um, okay, she also comes with a little powder puff, like a little um, makeup applicator type thing. There is no bracket on it, so she wouldn't be able to hold this, but I mean, it's still cute. Um, she also comes with this, and it looks like a little compact. I wonder if this is supposed to be a makeup compact for the little powder puff, maybe. It does open. Oh yeah, yep. It's a little makeup, like a blush, and that's supposed to be like a little mirror. And then you take this and you can put it in there. It was just packaged separately to make it look like there was more stuff in the box. I get it. But um, it does fit in the little makeup thing. I love that. And then speaking of makeup, she also comes with a tube of lipstick that actually opens and you've got the little lipstick there and there's that little um, thumb bracket right here so that way she can hold it. Um, but that is super cute. So those are the separate accessories. Let's look at the actual doll now. Starting from the top, here is her face. I think she is super so pretty. I know some people are not a fan of the bigger head, smaller body kind of like idea. Um, and I know that this is not everybody's favorite look, but for me, because I love the look of Ever After High, it's giving me Ever After High so much. And I, I love this face mold and the screening is very pretty. Like, 
her makeup's really cool. She's got the graphic eyeliner going on. She's just so pretty. Her hair is saran. It is very nice. I, I will say there is a little bit of um, shedding, which happens with dolls, um, but I just wanted to point it out uh, that it is a thing. It's not a lot. There's only a few. I feel like if I was to brush through it, I might get it a little bit more coming out, but um, for the most part, it's not terrible, um, but I did notice it, so I wanted to mention it. Anyway, um, she's got like the very in colors so she's got pink right here and blonde in the back now the pink has it's very heavily gelled so I cannot tell if it's polypropylene or if it's saran I'm hoping it is saran I know on a Barbie extra that I have up there it was like Barbie extra two I think Barbie extra two or three uh, she had blonde hair with pink in it and it was all saran so I'm hoping that even though this is like very styled and has hair gel in it I'm hoping that is still saran hair because um, there has been some Barbies uh, hair play Barbies nonetheless that had both saran and uh, polypropylene hair in it and I was like so disappointed because it was the totally hair Barbie like the anniversary totally hair Barbie they did the blonde was saran but then the blue and purple that they added in was polypropylene I'm like why would you do that to this poor doll it's a hair play doll why wouldn't you give it good hair anyway um, so she I don't know we'll see I might wash this out at some point and and we'll know for sure if this is saran um, but anyway um, moving on she has her sunglasses I'm gonna leave I like the way they look up here and they are attached so I'm not going to take these off but she has these cute little sunglasses that kind of remind me of the original Barbie that had those sunglasses with the white frames it kind of reminds me of that so I love that little callback uh, she does have a necklace which is just a silver little heart very simple I you know what I have to say like he, I got a Barbie extra out so that way we can compare like when you look at how much junk they threw on these Barbie extras like how many necklaces they had and accessories and all the stuff I mean they were called Barbie extra for a reason um, but like this is refreshing to me it's tasteful it's simple but it's still like bedazzled a little bit you know got a little bit of something something to make it look more than just a fashionista you know what I mean um, but yeah so she's got this cute little necklace I don't know if this is a new mold or not but it's really cute I like it looks like a little heart locket so I do like that um, she does not have her ears pierced so no earrings um, she does not have any bracelets or rings um, she's got these gloves which are not attached to her top so if you just wanted this and you didn't want all this you can remove the sleeves um, but these little rosettes are attached to the sleeves so um, you would have to do that separately what I personally am tempted to do is I am tempted to cut the sleeves off because I'm not a huge fan of the sleeves uh, the, the gloves I'm sorry I'm not a fan of the gloves going all the way down and covering the hands so I kind of either want to cut it off at the wrist so her hands are free and it just looks like sleeves or cut it off right here underneath so that way she still has the rosettes because I think these are really cute with this top um, but I'm just not a fan of the glove look personally um, but I mean it's not the worst it's it's okay but I, I kind of ha want to do that um, anyway she is wearing under oh they did the thing I hate she has these denim shorts underneath but they're tacked together you can kind of see that little plastic thing hold on I want to snip that very carefully so I don't cut the outfit perfect okay so there's that um, but yeah I hate it when they tack down the the outfit um, but here you can see the the denim shorts a little better they're kind of like an acid wash with a raw edge which is cute um, she's holding a mirror by the way so it's just a little mirror that she can hold it is rubber banded hold on it's rubber banded to her leg there we go free the hand it was like tied down um, but anyway um, so yeah so she has her little her little mirror there which is another cute little accessory um, she just happened to be holding this but let me take this off she doesn't actually need to hold this anymore ah, so much better now you can pose her um, anyway so moving down to her shoes I love these shoes check these out they are so cute are these like not quintessential Barbie like 
come on, I love these. So you've got like a cute little ankle strap heel with a bow on the front. It's all molded, there's no painted details, but I don't think it needs it for this particular shoe. It's really cute. And I did notice that her feet are definitely bigger and or a slightly different shape than normal Barbie. So hold on, let me show you. So here's a comparison. This one is the Barbie Extra. So this is like a regular Barbie. And then this is the Barbie Dream Bestie. So it's a little bit more of an incline, um, higher heel. It is a slightly larger foot. And then if you look at it from the front, um, you can see, hold on, let me do this. You can see the classic Barbie foot is much smaller and the newer one is a little bit more defined. Like you can actually see her toes and everything, but it is a little bit wider as well. So unfortunately, I think this means that she cannot really share classic Barbie. Yeah, she cannot fit classic Barbie shoes. Unfortunately, she's not able to share with just reg the regular Barbie line. Um, I'm hoping that this line does well so we get more shoes, maybe some fashion packs, um, other dolls with other outfits, stuff like that. That'll be cute. Um, but anyway, let me just put her little shoe back on. Now, let's talk about the Ever After High resemblance. Uh, just because, I mean, you cannot deny that if you see these two face sculpts together, they are very similar. But yeah, the way that I'm looking at these, I feel like Barbie Dream Bestie is kind of a spiritual successor to Ever After High in a way. It's kind of like if you were to take Barbie Extra and Ever After High and mash them together, that's how you get Barbie Dream Besties. So I'm definitely obsessed. That is actually a really good comparison. I literally just came up with that right now. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, the, because, you know, Barbie Dream Bestie is replacing Barbie Extra because Barbie Extra did get canceled, I guess, or discontinued, however you want to look at it. Um, but yeah, since we're not getting Barbie Extra anymore, which is fair, I think that uh, the style of Barbie Extra, you know, like it ran its course. We had it for several years um, or I don't know how many years we had it, but we had it for a while. You know, it was around for a while. There's several releases for Barbie Extra, um, and they were cute. Some of them were really cute. Some of them I didn't really care for. Most of them, their style was just like really off the wall and it wasn't really my thing. So a lot of them I got, I ended up redressing. Like I gave I gave them a made to move body and put them in a completely different outfit um, for the ones that I liked. There's very few of them like this one where I actually do kind of like her outfit um, and the number three, which she's up there on my shelf right now. Um, she looked really cute. I just didn't care for her pants with the fringe down the side. Uh, so I gave her some black leggings because I thought that looked a little bit better. But yeah, Barbie Extra was just a little, mm, I, I, I don't know, their, out, their outfits were a little tacky. I, I wasn't a huge fan of a lot of the styles. I didn't think it looked flattering or cute. It was just kind of like a lot um, extra, if you will. <laughs> um, so Barbie Dream Besties, I think, is, the, is, is a perfect replacement for for Barbie Extra, because if you look at the, the styles, I mean, yeah, it's not super extravagant. There's not a lot to it. Um, it's a little bit more casual, but that's what I've been wanting, is for the dolls to have a little bit more casual, wearable outfits. Um, you know, and it's got some trendy features and some cute, I mean, like, obviously on human scale, these this size rosette would be like g huge, ginormous. So like, I don't know, wearable is subjective, I guess. But I mean, I just really like the design of these dolls a lot. Um, I really wish that we would get Ever After High back because, like I said, it is my absolute favorite doll line. I love the story, I love the cartoon, and I love the design of the dolls, but... I don't see that happening, especially now that Mattel is doing the Descendants dolls. Because we all know the story about how there was some pain points between Disney and Mattel when Ever After High was out because Mattel had the license for the uh, Disney Princess line and they were kind of neglecting it, I guess, in Disney's eyes, um, according to the press release. Um, they were not really putting a lot into it. Um, and they were putting a lot into Ever After High at the time. And I think Disney saw Ever After High as direct competition, um, especially since Disney had Descendants. So between Disney Descendants and Ever After High, like that was a whole thing. Mattel lost the license to Disney uh, and um, you know Hasbro picked it up. And then we saw like all the quality decline. Ever After High got discontinued and it just hasn't come back. Even though we did get Monster High back um, after Ever After High has not come back yet. Um, so, and now that Mattel got the Disney Princess license back again, I didn't think that Ever After High had a chance to come back. And then on top of that, to double down, now Mattel is making the 
descendant stalls um, I don't think that ever after high is going to happen which makes me very sad um, but we've got Barbie dream besties so I'm I'm happy about that at least um, and it's just I mean it's an aesthetic thing it's, it really is only an aesthetic thing because these are not this is not Apple White they're not the characters from Ever After High unfortunately they don't have fantasy outfits like princess dresses and stuff like that which I love um, it's more casual like modern day style you know because it's Barbie it's not Ever After High um, but I'm okay with that. Like I said, it's an aesthetic thing. I mean, this is how they could do Ever After High uh, with this scale since they wanted to kind of move away from the super thin, um, slim dolls. Like, you know, we saw with Monster High G3, they kind of redesigned the bodies and everything to have a little bit more... Um, natural proportions I say natural with air quotes because they still have the big head and cartoony proportions but they're not like stick figures and they're not all the same body size oh I'm wondering if um I wonder if these have different body sizes we'll find out when I get to get around to um unboxing the other ones anyway okay so I'm talking enough about um ever after high and conspiracy theories about Disney and all that stuff <laughs> um but I did want to do a quick comparison just so you can see um the difference in the size so uh here is an ever after high doll and if i stand up um the barbie dream bestie we can see that barbie is just about the exact same height like it's not exact like obviously the proportions are a little bit different but it's very very similar they're about the same height um ever after high has larger feet uh, and more platforming shoes so it is kind of pushing it up a little bit but um between the two their shoulders kind of come to the same spot and uh their heads kind of come to the same spot so uh you know it's just a, a more human proportion version of the ever after high doll uh, and in turn let me show you next to the Barbie extra just because it's the Barbie that I happen to have available here um, I try to line up their feet as best as, as I can so that way I can hold them next to each other and you can kind of see that the Barbie dream bestie is actually shorter um, I thought that when I first saw these I thought that it was just an ever after high head on a Barbie body but that is not the case they actually have a unique body mold um, this is different than Barbie you can see it is um, more petite she had the bigger feet like I showed you earlier um, and she's not as tall you can see like the feet are about the same and her shoulders do not come up to the same spot uh, as the Barbie does so just so you can kind of see the side-by-side -side comparison for sizing anyway okay so I've talked a lot about this line and about Barbie Extra and uh, Ever After High and stuff like that. I think for the other dolls now, I might not go in too much detail about that because I've already talked about it in this video. I will still compare the other ones to different uh, different Ever After High characters. I, ha I pulled out a few different Ever After High dolls to compare with dolls that I think the uh, Dream Besties that I think they look similar to. Uh, so I'll do those in their video. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it for this one. For Barbie Malibu. So if you watched all the way through to the end, thank you so much for sticking around with me while I rambled about this new doll line. Uh, I genuinely am really excited for this one. I'm excited to see where it goes and I really hope it does well because I want more. <laughs> I'm really excited for this doll line so much. Oh, articulation. Hold on, let me just show you the articulation real quick. She has movement at the head, at the shoulder, elbow, uh, the wrist, the hips, and then also the knee. So it's basically the same articulation as Barbie Extra and Ever After High. Um, the range of movement is, what was that? <laughs> I think her hip was out of joint and I clicked it back in. That's weird. Anyway, um, so the uh, range of movement is a little bit better than Barbie Extra, but not as good as Ever After High, in my opinion. Um, anyway, okay, so now I am done. As always, I want to hear from you now. Let me know your thoughts of this doll down in the comment section down below, and I hope I see you next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.